Today I'm going to have a quick look at this T-Rex Soulmate acoustic pedal I've got for some open mics and jam days and that sort of thing. I wanted something to just give myself a little bit more consistency when you're going to like a PA that you don't know or just a little bit more control over over what I'm doing. So there's a couple to choose from. This one and the um, Fisherman Tone DEQ. I couldn't get a Tone DEQ anywhere, in actual fact. This came up uh, used, although it's pretty good. It's still got the plastic cover on it. And uh, so this is what I've chosen. So anyway, quick look through it, what we've got. We've got compression on the end, modulation for a bit of chorus. We've got some delay controls up here. Uh, with the mixed feedback and time. We've got some reverb controls here, mix, decay and shimmer. We'll go through in a minute. We've got an EQ, um, we've got a feedback killer, we've got a tuner, foot switch, we've got a looper, um, we've got a boost button and a tap delay function. This, the other buttons are here for um, reverb, delay, modulation and compression. So we'll go through all those in a bit, then we'll have a quick look at the back and uh, see what's on there. Uh, so guys, let's take a quick look at the at the back of this um, Soulmate. We've got the uh, guitar input. We've got an input uh, high and low impedance switch. We've got a phase switch. We've got the gain button, which is cool because it clicks in and out like this. So once you've set it, it's harder to get it to make it change and mess about with it. We've got our power connector. We've got a tuner and pitch to select um, tuner or pitch for the tuner function. Volume expression pedal input, boost, which is our boost control from the front. Again, we can set that and push it in, which is great. Level out, output button. Again, you can push that in. Uh, shimmer uh, expression pedal, so you can control the level of the shimmer with um, a pedal, foot pedal, swell pedal, or something like that. Um, we've got the left and right jack outputs. We've got a ground lift button, and we've got two XLR left and right outputs. Sorry. And that's about it. It's got four little rubber feet on the bottom, which is quite cool. So let's um, next thing I'm going to do is get it plugged in, and let's have a little play with some of these things. Um, I might just add that the power supply is like this. It's obviously a multi adapter thing, so you can put the end on. This is a UK version. Uh, one thing I will say is, and I know a lot of things are like this. These kind of effect pedals. It's got a very Quite a short lead, probably about a meter. Um, very thin cable, the end thing on and whatnot, which is fine. I get it, but you know, if I was using this gigging night after night or week after week with this, I just get the feeling that this isn't going to last too long, and I'm going to be looking for a new power supply pretty quickly. But anyway, there you go. That's a minor niggle. Okay, guys. So. Uh, I'm just going to quickly run through this pedal now, this um, T-Rex Soulmate Acoustic. Um, I got it in place of the Fishman, like I said before, because I couldn't get the Fishman, which I wanted to try. I'm still going to get the Fishman and try it, but anyway, let's quickly just run through this. So I'm using my Taylor 414 acoustic guitar. Just I've got not the original pickup, this is an LR Bags um, Anthem pickup in here, because the original failed, and Taylor wanted a ton of money to replace it, so no thanks Taylor. Uh, okay, so let's whiz through it quickly. That's the straight sound. And I'm going to start from the left to the right with the compressor, which you can see set. Compressor is about, about, about 30%, maybe halfway. Compressor level is about 25%. I find that is plenty. I've used it in an acoustic gig recently. And it was just good to have that little bit of um, control over the, you know, the dynamics coming out of the PA speaker. So... That's where I got the whole thing ready to just check out. Try and have a bit more control over my, my own sound. So now let's put the compressor on. Okay, so. You can hear that kind of. Force the bracket right up. Most of the sound you can hear now is coming through on mic because in order to compensate for the, the squashed sound the compressor has done, uh, I'd need to whack the level up 
and that's what it's there for obviously to to bring a bit of gain output back in once you've squashed the sounds we're going to turn it back down again I, I found at the gig that that sort of 30 percent mark was about the best one for me so that's the compressor let's whiz on Modulation. Now it's obviously like a chorus effect that we've got going on. We've got the um, the rate and the depth. Again, I've got these at about 30 percent, just under halfway maybe. So let's just check that out. Just give a little bit. It's quite nice. I've, I've used it once or twice sparingly. Not a massive fan of chorus on an acoustic guitar, but you know, it, it, it's okay. Chorus. Delay. Let's try the delay. Okay. You know. It's a delay. It does what it does. It's got various um bit of feedback, your normal stuff, you know. It just adds a little bit. I don't know if it normally set that that obvious it's normally very laid back but i have used it i usually use it uh, there's a downside to this pedal which i'll come to shortly reverb reverb's quite nice is not up very high let's just turn the mix up okay so that's the mix it, it, you know it's not a bad reverb again i use it quite sparingly i normally have it quite low in the mix just to add a little bit of ambience to the guitar i don't like tons of reverb on the acoustic guitar I prefer to keep it for vocals let's just turn that back Now we've got this shimmer effect. It's almost like a feedback. You know, it's a bit keyboardy, a bit organy. You can use an expression pedal with this, and so you can bring that shimmer in and out to suit yourself, which some people use to great effect. Not sure it does much for me, if I'm honest. And if I did want it, I probably wouldn't use it on this pedal. Anyway, shimmer. And then, of course, we've got the boost. I don't know what that is. One or two dB, maybe. You can set it on the back of the pedal to how much you want it to actually boost. Um, I've used it just to add a little bit for... Um, solos and stuff like that uh it just it does work it worked pretty well at the gig so i was quite happy with that so here we go let's turn that off we've got a tuner as well obviously let's just tuners tuner works okay the looper i'm not even going to go there with the looper because I, I'm, I'm not i can't get on with loopers it's a function that came with this pedal i'm not really interested in it so there you go, that's the basic function of the pedal. Oh, sorry, the EQ. Yeah, the EQ is like a dual um, 
a dual knob thing on each setting uh sort of top middle bottom basically um so you've got like a band to set it and then a, a an option to adjust the gain of the cue within that band and again I've, I've used it i've sort of set it up tweaked it i set it up at home and then i had to tweak it for the gig because i wasn't too happy with it and it, it, again it works it's functional however the big thing for me on this pedal and i knew it before i bought it but you know is if you want a little solo thing or something you want to play a little bit and you want reverb sort of delay the compressor i leave on all the time the boost i use just for the little bits of solo the other three functions you know sometimes i want them all on so i might want a little bit of chorus certainly i'd want a little bit of delay and reverb if i'm doing a little lead bit or, or melody of some fashion and you know it's a bit of a dance on the pedals to be honest uh i'd rather have i'd rather be able to have a function to operate two effects at the same time or more but you know i get this is what it is with this pedal if you want to do that get uh i don't know high checks effects or something or something that's got presets you can set as far as i'm, I'm going the, the compressor works really well i'm happy with that the the delay is okay don't use it much the reverb i will use a lot the boost i use a lot um that little flashing you can see in the corner is the tap function for the delay which is really annoying because I haven't found out if you can even turn it off. I don't like it flashing in the dark when you're at a gig. Um, I also need to get some coloured caps for the buttons because, again, I like to know exactly what I'm looking at. They do light up, which is cool. And there's plenty of, there's a volume pedal you can add in um, to control your own volume. Obviously, when you press the foot, the um, tuner, it cuts the output anyway. All in all, I'm quite happy with it. It wasn't a bad price for, for pedals. Um, I'm not I probably will keep it because I never tend to sell anything but I think I will probably get something else to try I'm going to definitely try and get the Fishman Tone DEQ and try that out and compare it to this at some point but there you go if you want to know anything else about this pedal shout me uh, drop me a DM or give me a nudge and I'll, I'll try and look it up for you and let you know okay guys cheers